Hello everyone and today we are going to learn how we can do this cool effect which is this staggering text you could see and I have actually recorded like a bigger video which is like 40 minutes video and it goes in depth on how we do this animation but in this tutorial I just want to create it in a faster way that way people who just want to like just copy paste the code can just do it and still do some changes to their requirements people who don't want to understand it they can just like copy paste the code but still do some changes so this is how the animation looks you could see and we can change it based on lines we could change it based on words we could do changes based on characters and lot more animations so let me first show you what i've done so this is just a container with a heading text and the heading text has a html tag of h2 so remember whichever h tag that you have used so for this one it is h2 Go to advance and then i have given it a css class of dm heading so this video does have a bit of a difference than the one from the longer video because i did some changes to the code and uh, this is what we are doing okay so all you simply need to do is copy and paste it in the html code like this and then let's do preview changes and see if the animation works Let's scroll down and you could see the animation worked perfectly. But what about if the animation didn't work as soon as you added the code? Few things that could be happening. First thing is that this GSAP, so GSAP is basically a library, JavaScript library that we are using to animate it very easily. Else the animation code would be like very complicated. So to keep it simple, we just use like GSAP, which is like a really good library. Then we also are using split type library which basically takes our text which is like the bigger text and it converts into smaller containers so if i like say go in here you could see that we actually have like our text is converted into line like this and each line is converted into like a word and each word has been converted into like small characters okay so so basically we are creating like taking the text and creating container for each of it so that we could animate it so that is basically what split type is being used used for and then we are using gsap and then we are using scroll trigger which is also like gsap functionality so one thing is let's say the code does not work after you add this try it removing the first two scripts which are like this much okay and so, and then see if the code runs and basically what that would mean is that some other plugin or theme has been adding the gsap to your website and obviously if this if this runs by default it means like nothing else has been adding the gsap library to your website but this code but we manually reference it around here so how about we learn how we could customize it a bit better okay so right now this is how it looks we could actually do is if we type dot dm heading type dot lines sorry dot line let's do overflow hidden and let's see what it does let's scroll around and you could see it actually appeared from like a imaginary line below that so you could do that which is like dm heading dot line overflow hidden dot line is basically like because we have converted into its, its own container we could just use that some changes okay so we got this document loaded we don't need to understand that we don't need to understand this uh this is something that i didn't show in the bigger video which is like this code what it allows us to do is we can simply just copy this no matter how many times we want it and then it would run the code for each and every one of this i didn't show it in that video how you can make it run to like every single text with like with the same css class so let's see if i go below slowly first one shows second one shows third one shows okay but in that tutorial i didn't show how to like have like same css class so all of this have, have like the same css class dm heading and it just runs for anyone that has a css class dm heading so i didn't show that in in that video but i guess this this is like a good opportunity to show it then we have apply split type to h2 so you could see we have something called h2 around here so let's say if your text you were using were h1 
or h6 or h5 anything or you are using p all you simply need to do is change this to whatever you are using if you if you are using h3 h4 h5 or p you will need to change that to whatever you are using then we go below and we have gsaf from and then if we scroll down to so markers has been chosen as false so what is marker so if i change this to true let's see what would happen You could see suddenly you could see something called scroller start and there is also like scroller end but it is getting uh, hidden by this bar so it the scroller end i have set it at top so as soon as we touch this to the animation runs you see as soon as this one touches this one it just uh, runs the animation that is why we use markers to just like uh, check how the animation is done or where the code has been used so a quick rundown is when uh, we choose the trigger as our heading like this and we have we have actually given it like around here something like this so our heading is which uh, whichever has the class dm headings okay this one might not be uh, easy to understand if you're not familiar with javascript but basically you could see this start and end we have set it to our heading uh, top location so you could see we have set it to zero percent so the start this start uh, line green line has set to the top of this text the end line is also set to top of this text zero percent and then the start of the weave port which is the scroller start we have set it to 50 percent if i had changed change this to 60 percent this scroller start would turn below around here 60 and that way uh, the animation would run as soon as this triggers touches or this this text touches like 60 percent around here like this or if you want the text to appear when it's on top you could also reduce it so just remember this is like zero and this is 100 and then 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 so as we go down we go till 100 the first value is for our uh, element which is the trigger and the second element is for the v port which is like this scholar start n does not matter for this one so we'll keep it like a zero zero for now then y100 so y100 basically if we change this to let's say 200 then uh, let's like remove the overflow hidden if i make the y to be 200 let's see what happens you could say it started from 200 and then went to zero so this is just how from where it should start and where it should end and by in gsap we have like from and then we have to for this one i have used from so whatever data that you add around here it would be the initial uh, location and whatever uh, look at thing that you add in the css or just like elementor uh, settings it would be the two locations so it would go from this state to whatever state that it, that you have added in here i have done different i have set two which means that uh, the initial location would be set by elementor and then it will reach to whatever location or whatever state i have set around here this is nothing complicated this is just like the heading which is like this one dm heading i want all of this content all of this content to be hidden by default and only show when we are on the screen and then so it just uh, turns it from zero opacity to one opacity okay that's all so basically this whole text would be invisible and then this one is for the each words right so each word settings so you could see for dot words like this and everything all in this is same so anything we add in the scroll trigger is based for like this section when the animation should run and stuff and after that whatever we add is for uh whatever the state it should be from or to basically and then let's say if you want to do line by line what we can simply do is we could go down instead of words we will type lines and let's see what happens and you could say first line came up and then second line and what if i change this to char which is character char characters type s at the end now the class that it is it is giving like this text is like line word and 
characters. So let's first check this. So you could see the animation. Let's see if I do inspect and then let's wait for it. You could see it is giving line and then inside of it, it is word and each word has character. But you might be wondering why we add S at the end around here. That is just how the split type JavaScript library has been made to make our work easier. So, so that it runs on every single character, we just have to add S in a plural form. But let's say if I want to do some uh, CSS, then we will need to type like G DM heading and then do singular. Okay, because this is not a JavaScript. So for character, we could just do overflow hidden like this and it would work. Now, another thing is duration. So duration is like one second right now. Okay. So each text or each uh, animation takes one second to go from Y100 to Y0. So you could say it takes one second to go from this location to this location. So if you want to make it faster, you could make it like 0 0.5, 0 0.2. If you want to make slower, you could like increase this uh, data around here. But then what is stagger? Stagger is basically the difference between each animation. So if I make the stagger to be, let's say one second, then what would happen is it would make the text go from uh, this Y100 to Y0. And then it would wait for one second. And then it would make the next word go from this one to the second one so this is just a, a staggered difference so basically between each animation how much time it should stop before running that uh, before running the next animation now, if you remove this all of this text would just pop up together and it would look like a singular text okay and ease is basically just how how the easing you want but if you want to try any other stuff like none bounce power you could go into eases like this and then just add the ease that you want. So you could see we are using this one, which is power out like this. But obviously you could like play around with in out, in out. This is where you check. So this is how the animation would go. I cannot explain to you how the graph and all works like this. But uh, this is how easy it is to just make an animation of stagger. And if you want to go in depth of this tutorial, just make sure to watch the new video or the bigger video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.